in today's video, I want to break down exactly how I get multiple people to pay me four to five thousand dollars every single month by working with me. Um, this is going to be a very in-depth, a very long video. So if you have the attention span of a TikTok user um, and you cannot sit through a 20 minute video, that's going to poss well, possibly going to change your life. By all means, go back to TikTok and keep doing what you're doing. For those who are a bit more serious, um, essentially in this video, I'm going to be going over three main steps. So one, what are we going to be selling in order to justify this type of price point? Step two, how do we actually acquire people who are willing to pay us this amount of money? And then lastly, once people do pay us, how do we actually fulfill and serve them on what we sold them? Okay, so again, super end-up video. Um, I have everything laid out for you. Um, if you don't want to listen to me ramble for 20, 30 minutes, um, I will have the full download to this document in my free school community. Okay, so you pay nothing up front, you'll get access to the whole uh, downloadable version. And also like everything else that's on my YouTube channel, you can find it in that group. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Step one, what are we going to be selling? We want, first of all, to pick a service, okay? Um, I'm not a fan of selling products. Um, it, it's, it requires more money up front. And the goal is to start this business with as little risk as possible. So by selling a service, because you don't have to build something, anything, you don't have to hold inventory, it's basically free to start, okay? You just have to have the knowledge or be able to fulfill on a service. We want to offer a service where we can charge anywhere from two to five thousand dollars every single month okay maybe when you start it's going to be more difficult to justify this type of price point especially if you have no experience no case studies no testimonials stuff like that but eventually trust me as you do this you will easily be able to charge anywhere from two to five and from experience i i've mentored almost 400 people now my recommendation is to sell a growth service so essentially you're helping someone or a business grow. And when we say grow, we of course mean more money. Typically that's what we're selling, okay? So my recommendation, if you have no idea what to do, one of two things, either offer paid advertising. I would prefer you guys to go after local businesses. So your local plumber, you would go see them and say like, hey, I can help you acquire more clients. We do it through paid advertisement, through Google, through Facebook, through YouTube ads, you know, whatever is appropriate, depending who you work with. Um, and offer them the growth. So I will help your business grow to X amount of money per month. Uh, so here's an example. Um, as you can see, uh, they're stuck in a current situation. So maybe your local plumber is stuck at 20 grand per month and he wants to make 100 grand per month. All right, and he doesn't know what to do in order to get to 100 grand per month. So that's when you come into play and you build and you, you help them do everything, execute on everything in order to make 100K per month, if that's their goal. One mistake that I see many people doing is they buy a Facebook ads course or they watch a YouTube video on Facebook ads and they claim themselves to be an expert and that's what they sell for 5K per month. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is not gonna fly. Maybe back in the day, you could have gone away with that, but today, it is you, you cannot just know Facebook ads and think that people are gonna pay you for 5K per month. Okay, I can find someone on Fiverr and pay them 500 bucks to do that for me or for my local client. Okay, what they actually need help with is, yeah, setting up the ads and everything is complicated, but what they need help with is the remaining, like what else needs to be done in order to get them to their desired outcome. And that's when you come into play. So it's very important that when you offer your service, when you pick, when you decide what, what do I want to fulfill on, you don't pick a service, you pick an outcome. So I'm not selling Facebook ads or Google ads. I am selling you 100K per month. And whatever needs to be done to help your client get to their desired outcome, you do it. As simple as that. So in this case, if I'm offering paid advertising, this can be a combination of lead generation. So we get them potential people who are interested in working uh, with our plumber. Let's say if I use the same example, uh, so we might help them with their offer. So what should they be promoting? Is it the leaky faucets or is it uh, a brand new like water heater in their homes? You know, like what are we going to be promoting and pushing to the marketplace to get them to get more sales to, to help their business scale? And then the appointment setting. So if someone shows interest, but they don't call our plumber, like how do we actually convert them into paying clients? So we might call them, we might place someone in their, in their company to call the leads. We might do automatic SMS, email reminders. You know, there's a bunch of things we can do. And then if you can even help them close the deals, that's even better. 
Okay, this is not always possible depending on who you're working with, the size of the company, and how they how they like operate in terms of their sales process. But you know, like like that's why like you have to take a objective point of view and just see does this make sense like what do i need to do and what can i actually do to help them get to their goal okay this is not always going to be possible so the more distance you cover between their current situation and their desired situation the more you can charge for your services as simple as that if i don't really help someone get to their goals i cannot charge 5k per month if i help them get to 100k per month they will pay me 5k per month easy that is not a difficult ask okay so this is an example for paid advertising. If you have specific questions on this, this is very complicated. This is typically where I spend the most time with the people I work with. Um, there's a link in the description to join our community where you'll have access to me and I can specifically go into your business and help you with this, okay? Because this is very tailored and customized to everyone. Another type of service that I like is content, okay? So people who are, you know, agency owners, coaches, consultants, like people who are building a personal brand. I personally really like like working with people like that, uh, it's something I'm good at um, and it's not too complicated, but it's the same thing. Okay. So instead of saying to someone, Hey, I can edit your shorts, look how nice they look, help them become the most popular person in their niche. So again, I am not selling, Hey, I will edit your shorts It's Hey, I will, I will get you to a million subscribers and whatever needs to be done to get them to a million subscribers, you do it as simple as that. So in this case, instead of just editing shorts, it can be coming up with ideas, the content calendar, long form, short form, the thumbnail, the actual posting, the scheduling, interacting with their followers, hosting events, you know, so there's so many more things that can be done, not can be done, but need to be done in order to get them to the desired outcome that most content creators or agencies, they, they, they ignore. All they do is like, hey, I'll edit your shorts. It's like, hey, I don't, I don't care. You know, it's like, I need help with a lot more than just editing my shorts, okay? So that's an example of a service, okay? Again, my recommendation, you don't have to, some people do websites and stuff like that, but my recommendation from experience, from what I'm seeing, if you offer some sort of growth service where you help someone grow, whether it be revenue, followers, or whatever, that is where you can charge them more, the most money, okay? Cool, so that's step one. Now that we know what we're offering, let's say we'll continue with the example of the plumber. Okay, so we go after local plumbers and we help their business scale by helping them acquire more uh, water, heater, replacement jobs, uh, and we, we help them become top dogs, millionaires, okay? How do I find these plumbers? How do I actually get clients to pay me that amount of money? So step two, how do we acquire clients? Um, there's gonna be three main methods, okay? You don't, this is gonna be a lot. This is very heavy what I'm gonna show you. If you're a complete beginner, or even if you're making 20, 30K per month, I do not expect you to be able to implement all three tomorrow. This is a work in progress and it will take time. But eventually, this is the whole ecosystem of what you want. You're gonna have content, okay, super important. Paid ads, very important as well, as well as cold outreach, okay? Let's start with cold outreach. Cold outreach, what I would do if I'm just starting out, I'm putting myself in the shoes where I am like, I don't have an existing agency or whatever. I would hire a bunch of commission based appointment setters. So you only pay them once they bring your results and then you get them to manually reach out to these plumbers, you know, whether it be through Facebook groups, uh, Google in itself. So you just Google plumbers and you text them, you call them and you get them to book calls with you. Okay, so as you can see, this is what my team does as well. So that's one of the acquisition methods that we use. Um, in the past, I think, month or two months, we've sent 22,000 messages to potential clients. Out of those conversations, we had, oh, out of those messages, sorry, we've had 2,000 conversations. So 2,000 back and forth where people are like, what do you do? How does it work? Like, uh, tell me more about your business. And then from there, I've had 250 book calls. So 250 people, took my calendar, booked a one-on-one -on -one call with me, wanting to get help from us, okay? Even if I'm horrible and I have a 10% closing rate, so only 10% of these people actually converted to paying clients, that is 25 clients. And if I do 25 times 4,000, if I'm 5,000, you can do the math yourself and see how much money I'd be making, okay? So 
in the conversations, we give them CTA. So CTA is a call to action. So we call them to purchase one of our products or to book a call with us. And we will redirect them to a landing page, a funnel. Okay, so this is one of our funnels, as you can see. And then from there, once they're on their funnel, there's gonna be a button that says book a call with me. They book a call and then that's when I would take the call and close the deal. Okay, as simple as that. So that's probably the first acquisition method that I would focus on if I'm just starting from, from scratch from a new business. So I reach out to these plumbers, I text them, I call them, whatever's appropriate, whatever you prefer doing. Do not get brainwashed into thinking, oh my God, this is better. This random kid said cold email is the best thing. They're all good, they all work, okay? It's just which one are you gonna stick with? Which one can you do at volume? That's that's the only thing that matters, okay? Trust me, if you send 22 messages, whether it be DMs, calls, or emails, you will get clients, okay? It's not rocket science. From there, I would do paid ads and content, okay? Uh, let's go with paid ads at first. Um, this will be most likely the best way to scale a business, okay? Going, like looking back to my journey of how I started my agency, I regret not doing this sooner. I was very heavy into this as well as content, but paid ads, I never really touched it. Um, and now we recently started running ads and I regret not doing it sooner because the ROI, the money I'm making back on ads is insane, okay? So there's multiple ways you can run ads. From experience, again, this will depend on the niche, who you're going after, you can do two types of ads. The more common one, and the one I suggest for most of you guys, is the direct pitch. So again, using the same example, attention plumbers, um, I will get you 10 new water heater jobs every single month on a pay and results basis. Something like that, you know, like an irresistible offer. From there, they click on the ad, they get redirected again to the same landing page, and then they book a call and I close the deal. As simple as that. This, a lot easier to manage, so paid ads with the direct pitch, than it is to manage appointment centers. This, you train a bunch of people, you have to find them, you have to hold them accountable, you have to make sure they don't say stupid things in the messages, and then you have to make sure they're good as well. Okay, and to scale, like past 50, 100K per month, it's extremely difficult, okay, because you need a huge team. Whereas with ads, I just need to put more money to ads, as simple as that. So if I put 100 bucks per day, uh, if I wanna get more results, I put 200 bucks per day. If 200 is not enough, I put 300. Okay, as simple as that. So it's not, you don't have to bang your head against the wall trying to hire more setters and stuff like that. Direct pitch, um, one thing that has working, been working extremely well for us is IG DMs. So we run an ad and it's like, send me a message to learn more about us. And then from there, I have a setter. So the same appointment setters here, I would place one in my Instagram and then they would have a conversation with the lead. And if they're a good fit, what do we do? Again, send them to the landing page, they book a call, and then I close the deal or my closer close the deal. Okay? That's step two, okay? Um, in a perfect world, you would do content at the same time as everything here, all right? Uh, but again, it's I don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed and do 20 things at the same time. Just start with one and then slowly start incorporating the other acquisition methods. So now we have code outreach, we have paid ads, just these two things, guys, you can scale and make a shit ton of money, okay? Like you can stop here and if you perfect this, you will have more more than enough money to, you know, do the things that you guys want to do with your life, okay? Content, for me, is the ultimate acquisition method, all right? If you think about it, an example I like to use because everyone knows him is Gordon Ramsay. If, let's say, there's 20 people who are selling knives, Okay, knives or silverware or whatever, something related to cooking in the kitchen. 20 people, they're all selling pretty much knives. They all look the same, okay? Like, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef, you you guys probably too. For me, a knife is a knife. I don't really know the difference, okay? Like, does it cut? It cuts, yeah, okay, I'm happy. If there's a knife, there's 20 of them in a row, but there's one that's being sold by Gordon Ramsay, and there's his face on it. It might be the exact same knife, okay, as the other guy, but because Gordon Ramsay's face is on it, I'm more likely to buy it. Why? Because everyone knows Gordon Ramsay is the GOAT when it comes to cooking. Okay, it's a known fact. Like, everyone knows him. So if his face is on a plate, 
on a knife, on something that's related to cooking, I am more likely to trust that product and buy it, even if it's more expensive, because it's Gordon Ramsay. You cannot compete with him. So again, show me 20 different knives. They all look kind of similar, generic, they're same price point or more expensive, less expensive. The most expensive is the last one with Gordon Ramsay's face on it. That's the one I'm going to buy because that's the one I trust the most. That's how you become invincible in business and no one can compete with you. Is you become the Gordon Ramsay of your niche, so of plumbing, let's say. So when people look at agencies when they the agencies that help plumbing scales, agencies that help plumbing company scale, I got it, and they see your face or your company, your brand, you have to become the Gordon Ramsay so no one can compete with you. Okay, that's why content is so important. It makes you unique and gives you an unfair advantage in the marketplace. My strategy, this is what I do currently. Is it the best? Probably not. It works extremely well for me and it's what I've been doing, okay? So I have three main avenues now. YouTube is the first thing I started with and it's what I would recommend uh, all of you guys to start with. Start posting long form, three to four per week. I, I personally, that's what I do. Uh, I like to do a combination of sit downs. So th those are just the ones where I sit down and I talk for 10 minutes. Okay, people like to hear about that. I kind of just share life stories and stuff and it's a way to, to, to connect with my viewers. And then I also do process breakdown. So exactly what you guys are watching right now, I break down a certain process. Okay, these ones are my favorite because they're easy to do if you know what you're talking about. Like this chart is easy for me to do because that's what I do in my company. But for someone who's not familiar with how to scale a business, this might appear very complicated. Okay, so process breakdown plus sit downs. Okay, don't don't overthink it. Just post. As you can see, this video is just I, I flip the camera and I talk for 20 minutes. Okay, there's no edits. There's nothing too crazy. Um, you can do shorts as well. So as you can see here, um, I was recently featured on a podcast. So now we're clipping everything, putting on on, um, on YouTube, Instagram, all of these platforms. And again, this is more social proof. Okay, this is me becoming the Gordon Ramsay of my niche. Uh, and then of course I have my YouTube that has just above 2,000 subscribers, which isn't crazy, but it's a lot, lots of social proof of what I'm doing. Um, second avenue is emails. Now I'm not talking about cold emails. I personally am not a fan of cold emails. However, I am a huge fan of emailing a email list. Okay, so if we go back here, when people click on my landing page, so on my website to book a call with me, I collect their information. So as you can see, it books the call, but it also goes here. And if I follow this line, enter your information, it will text you the sign up page or will text you access to the booking page or whatever. And then I collect their name, their email and their phone number. So even if they click on it, but they don't book a call or they don't buy or whatever, something happens, I still own their data and I know they've been interested in working with me. And that lead, that email is worth a lot more to me than a cold email that I got randomly from a random website because the, the person directly went on my page and showed interest, but then something was missing. Like they didn't pull the trigger. Okay. So once I collect those emails, that data, I will start sending daily emails. Now I'll use ConvertKit. You can use active campaign. You can use a bunch of different things, but that's what I use. I use ConvertKit. I want to send daily emails. It doesn't have to be daily, but the more the better. And just constantly provide them more, um, more content, more social proof, and then just keep reminding them of what we do, our offers and everything. And typically here's when you wanna like overcome objections. So an example, someone who wants to work with me, maybe they might think I'm too young to start a business. I'm only 17 years old. So what I do is I'm like, let me make an email saying we have a 17 year old who's making 15K a month with his agency. So right away, everyone who was younger, who was like, ah, I think I'm a bit too young to start a business. I'm only 18 years old. I'm only 19 years old. When they see an email like this and they're like, holy fuck, I'm not that young. There's someone who's even younger than I am who's making $15,000 per month. So boom, I overcome an objection. So now I get some people to book a call. And maybe someone else, it was some other objection. So I make a different email on that with some case studies. Maybe I'll link them to my YouTube videos. You know, like there's multiple things you can do with that. But you basically just always want to be 
in their like like always remind them of who you are and constantly provide value all right and one thing you can do as well is like take this copy right here and then put it into a instagram reel okay so i, I know some people do this um i wanted to start doing this a bit more we do it for our ads it works extremely well so you just put like a static video so this is just me working on my desk and this is a picture of what you guys see but the actual video is like a video of just me kind of like moving my hands and stuff like that and there's just a caption so i made 1.2 million by the age of 23 and then like nothing happens and then for like after four or five seconds read caption so now they open the caption and as you can see this is copy and this copy is basically the same copy that I would put in the email. So I'm repurposing uh, the email work into my Instagram. So it's not additional work for me to just put it into Instagram thing. Like I just need an editor to do this for me and then boom, it's done. Okay. From here, you can do, um, you probably see this like DM me uh, growth and I'm going to send you my, my, my document, my whatever. Okay. You probably often see that or sometimes you see it in a bio. What that means is basically people use a software that's called ManyChat. And then as soon as you text that keyword, there's an automatic DM that's sent in your messages with access to the program. Okay, so that's something I do as well. So they might read this with the shorts. Uh, they might respond to my email. And then from there, the DM, the, the resource is sent in their DMs. And then again, there's a landing page with the lead, the, the lead form. So I collect their emails. Okay, so if they came from an Instagram, so they might be organic, okay? They might just be Instagram, they were scrolling, they find my thing, they watch it, they're like, oh, that looks very interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna DM him growth. Okay, he sent me the resources, he logged in, and then I collected the email, and then I start emailing, I call him, and there's like a bunch of things you can do from there, okay? And then from here, landing page, add to email sequence. So we have even more emails that are being sent, and then everything's a call to action to either watch more content or just directly purchase one of our products. Or book a call with me you know there's a bunch of things that can happen okay and one thing i forgot to even write is we have someone calling the leads as well so if someone opts in from an ad let's say they click i want to join they click here they put their number but they don't buy or they don't book a call i have someone on my team calling them and say like hey i saw you were interested in uh sort of like working with oliver uh, you filled out our our informational form what exactly were you looking to get help with and then from there, it's kind of like a sales call. And then we can either get them to directly pay on the phone or uh, get them to book a call with me or someone on my team. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know this was very long, um, but again, this is the whole ecosystem that I personally use for my business. Now I've been doing this for almost two years. So this is two years of work. Okay. I do not expect you to be able to replicate this tomorrow. Start slowly. If I were you again, I would start here lowest risk commission-based appointment service if they screw up and they don't get your results you don't pay them if they do then you can pay them because obviously you're going to make money back in exchange okay paid ads it's a bit more risky because you have to invest money up front and if you don't know what you're doing you will lose money um, and then content content just takes lots of time okay so it's it's a slow way to grow your your, your business which is why i would start right away perfect so now if we go back to our little chart, step one, we know what we're going to be selling. We're selling a growth service. So I will help your business grow, make more money, uh, get more followers, whatever. How are we going to acquire clients? We're either going to do cold outreach to appointment centers. So they're going to call them. They're going to text them through Google, Facebook groups and stuff like that. Or we run ads or they find us through our contact. Once we get someone on a call, we close them. They pay us the four or $5,000. How do we actually serve them? This I'm not going to go too much in depth, uh, not as much as this, because again, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing YouTube growth, if you're doing plumber growth, uh, real estate growth, like the, the way you do it is going to be very different. But essentially, when you close someone for Facebook ads or whatever, I don't expect you to run the Facebook ads for your clients. Okay, you're a business owner and probably you have no idea what you're doing. If you ask me to run Facebook ads for my clients, I'm not the best. Like I know the basics, but I'm not the best media buyer. So what we want to do is find people with that experience. Okay. And your fulfillment team is going to look something like this as you scale, as you grow. So you're going to have what we call a head offer person. So let's say you sell Facebook ads as a service. You're going to have your head Facebook ads specialist. 
So he's someone who has a bunch of experience, who has already run ads before in the past, and he's going to run it on behalf of you for your clients because he's the expert. And what's fun is that because he's the expert, he probably has uh, results, case studies, well, he should if he's an expert. So you can use those case studies to close your clients. So many people will say, Oliver, I'm a beginner. I have no case studies, no um, experience. I don't know what I'm doing. Partner with someone who knows what they're doing. Hire them and then have them fulfill for your clients. As simple as that. If I charge someone 5,000, I can pay someone 1,000 to just do the service and I keep the rest of 4,000 minus other costs, but you get the point, okay? Uh, so you're gonna start off with like a head Facebook specialist, let's say, or a head YouTube growth, like whatever your service is. And then over time, you're gonna hire additional person, people. So you might uh, hire like a coach, we call them coaches, uh, more media buyers, system integrators, and other person, people um, to, to, to help your clients with their fulfillment. But this is something that over time, like you have to start small because your payroll uh, will get higher. So you will have to pay people more. And if you're not making a lot of money, then of course you cannot uh, hire a bunch of people. But uh, over time, you will build this up because you will see like your media buyer getting overwhelmed. And you might say like, hey, I, I cannot uh, make all of the creators for our ads. Can we hire someone to make the creatives? And then you hire someone for something. And then you slowly grow the team one by one. Eventually, you'll have the entire thing where everyone's working together in synergy. And you have like one person just taking care of your entire fulfillment for your clients. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. Okay. That's the gist of how I get people to... Uh, pay me four to five thousand dollars per month. Um, it's not rocket science. The main thing is this the offer Okay, you have to offer them something that's going to bring them to their desired outcome The closer you bring them to here the more you can charge Okay, you typically want to provide 10x value. So if I charge someone five thousand I want to provide someone fifty thousand dollars of value Okay, and if I'm only editing shorts for someone I am not providing $5,000 in value, okay? But if I'm helping them with their entire content strategy and I help them scale their YouTube like crazy, that is worth $5,000, okay? So that's basically it. Um, I hope uh, this video was informational. As usual, if ever you have any questions, you have two ways to get in contact with me. You can either directly send me a message on Instagram or you can join our free school community where you're gonna find all of these resources in there and you can also make a post. I will get back to you, help you with your business, uh, give you my feedback on your offer, your outreach strategy, and how you're fulfilling and everything. Otherwise, best of luck with everything. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.